I'm Miss Julie. Today we're going to read a froggy story and sing a couple of songs. We're going to start with this song called Dance Like Snowflakes. So you can dance around and pretend like there's snowflakes swirling in the air. Dance like snowflakes, dance like snowflakes in the air, in the air. Whirling, twirling snowflakes, whirling, twirling snowflakes here and there, here and there. Dance like snowflakes, dance like snowflakes in the air, in the air. Whirling, twirling snowflakes, whirling, twirling snowflakes here and there, here and there. One more time. Dance like snowflakes, dance like snowflakes in the air, in the air. Whirling, twirling snowflakes, whirling, twirling snowflakes here and there, here and there. All right, you can sit down for a story. Froggy's Best Christmas. Froggy's Best Christmas by Jonathan London, illustrated by, by Frank Rimkowitz. Look, they're throwing snow. Oh, and Froggy is dreaming. Do you see? What is he dreaming about? Yeah, there's snow and there's a snowman. It was the night before Christmas and Froggy was dreaming of snow. He had months of dreaming to go before it was time to wake up for spring. Do you know what it was called when frogs and other animals like bears sink through the winter? It's called hi hibernation. They hibernate. They sleep through the winter. Thump, thump. In the dream, Max was tossing snowballs against Froggy's window. Froggy, called his friend. What? It wasn't a dream at all. Froggy woke, woke up and looked out the window. Max, Max, he shouted. He hopped out of bed, flop, 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 and opened the door. Merry Christmas, Froggy yelled Max, and gave him a present. Wow, said Froggy, this is my first Christmas present. It is your first Christmas, said Max. You always sleep through it. I've heard all about Christmas, said Froggy. Now I can celebrate it. Yippee! And Froggy went to look for a gift for Max. Flop. Flop, flop. I found the perfect one, he said. What is it, asked Max as he tore open the box. A soccer ball, the one I kicked for a winning goal at the City Cup. Gee, thanks, said Max, juggling the ball on his knees. Now open your present. Froggy tore off the wrapping paper and opened the box. Inside there was a drawing of a Christmas tree. Gee, thanks, said Froggy. I always wanted a drawing of a Christmas tree. No, no, said Max. I'm giving you a real Christmas tree. Wow, said Froggy. What a friend. Christmas, said Max, is about friends. Yes, shouted Froggy. Let's go find Matthew and Travis. And he rushed to his room to get dressed. Zoop, zut, 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 zut. Zip, snap, sweat, zwit, zwum. Then he flapped outside, everyone. Flop, flop, flop. Froggy, called Max. What? Did you forget something? What? Me. And together they went off to the snow to wake up their friends from their long winter's nap. Naps. First they woke up Matthew. Wake up, wake up, they shouted, and Matthew the turtle yawned. Oh, and he crawled out from his home beside the pond. Then they woke up Travis. What's Travis? Wake up, wake up, they shouted, and Travis the bear yawned. Oh, he crawled out from his head. said Froggy and Max. This is my first Christmas ever, said Matthew. 
Mine too, said Travis, and together they all trudged off through the snow to find the perfect Christmas tree. Here's one, cried Froggy. Nah, it's too skinny, said Max. Here's one, said Matthew. Nah, it's too fat, said Max. Here's one, he hollered, the perfect tree. And Max and Beaver nod and nod and nod until... Timber! Thunk! Then together they dash, they drag the tree home through the snow. Christmas, said Max when they got there, is about friends and family too. And he scampered off and came back with his grandma and grandpa. And with everyone's help, Froggy put up the tree and trimmed it with popcorn chains and pine cones. Then, with some paint and glue, Froggy turned the biggest cone into a tiny tree, and he wrapped it for his dad. Painted and wrapped a picture for his mom, and put them under the tree. It's not too much, said Froggy, but Mom and Dad like it when I make things all by myself. Besides, said Max, it's the spirit of giving that counts. And now, said Froggy... Time for the star. He made a star out of foil, then pushed a, cha a chair against the tree and climbed and reached and stretched. Timber, shouted Max. Thunk. Froggy, yelled his mother and father, what? And in they came, their eyes as big as sugar plums. Oops, croaked Froggy, looking more red in the face than green. Merry Christmas! And it was a Merry Christmas. Together they opened presents. Rip! Roasted chestnuts crackle. St. Carol's fa la 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 la. Ate a feast, munch, crunch, munch, and had a snowball fight. Ugh. This is my best Christmas ever, said Froggy. Ours too, said Matthew and Travis. This is your first Christmas ever, said Max, and everyone laughed. Merry Christmas to all, shouted Froggy, and his friends waved goodbye. And to all a good night, boom Santa Owl. Ho, ho, ho. All right, and that was the story of Froggy's Best Christmas. Now we're going to do a little, sing a little song about a pine tree. It's called I'm a Little Pine Tree. So you can crouch down and pretend you're like a tr you're a tree and you're going to grow during this song. It goes, I'm a little pine tree as you can see. All the other pine trees are bigger than me. Maybe when I grow up, then I'll be a great big merry Christmas tree. All right, get it down again. I'm a little pine tree as you can see. All the other pine trees are bigger than me. Maybe when I grow up, then I'll be a great big merry Christmas tree. One more time. I'm a little pine tree, as you can see. All the other pine trees are bigger than me. Maybe when I grow up, then I'll be a great big merry Christmas tree. All right, everyone, good job. Thank you for watching.